Hi there, welcome to Always Forever Creations. My name is Stephanie and today we are continuing on with these cards that we started to make in the last video. I thought I should finish them up on camera. So that's what we are doing today. We do have one more new subscriber. So welcome. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. I, I'm, I'm struggling with these cards. I don't know why. So, but if you remember, we made a pocket here for money to go in. So I have a 20 and then I would just put it in like this probably get a couple more 20s but then you can like fan them or whatever but I thought that was cute for a little birthday gift so I'm gonna start with this one we did do this base on camera and then there are a few more here that I want to get done um all these I have specific wow all these I have specific people in mind um, for who they're going to go to. Oh my gosh, I printed out a sentiment for my brother and I did it landscape, but his is a portrait card. I don't even know if it's going to fit. Like, I can get it to barely fit in there. Okay. So... I've been kind of playing around with stamping and stenciling on this background just to give it a little something more. Um, so, I guess we can do that. I got a new stamp set for my birthday. This one, I'm so excited love the stitching. All right, which one's going to fit right here? I need to weave this whole thing, but right. Let's do it this way. Fun. I like it. Okay. What do I stamp it in? Black or brown? I'm gonna go brown. Okay. How is everyone doing? I don't know where my stamping block is. My desk is a mess. Like you can kind of see part of it here and it's not a very big desk. So it's just like, I can't find anything. <laughs> I had a block here and, oh my gosh, what did I do with it? I didn't put it back, that's for sure. I can't find it. It's clear, so that could be a problem. And um, it may have ran off with one of my children. I don't know. Let's use this, I guess. You use what you get. This is a new stamp. Should I stamp it a couple times? Eh, nah, let's just go for it. Oh, I love it. That is so cool. We need more of them. Okay. This guy's going to hang out here. Should I grab a longer one? Is this one longer? No, oh, it is significantly longer. Okay. I'm afraid to like take the whole sheet off because I don't, sometimes the, they don't grip very well and then I'm afraid they're gonna fall off and then I'll lose them. 
almost lost one of my spider webs one time. Okay, we'll do it this way. Right over the tear. It's stamped pretty well for not having been seasoned or anything. Or do you only need to do that with the clear ones? Probably need to do it with all of them. Okay. Cool. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I want to put it on all of them and everything else I made. Okay. Um, this guy's going to get popped up. We need a happy birthday, which that I have already here. I have some scrap paper here. Hmm. I don't know. Okay. Thinking in my head. Sorry. I'm getting a late start. I um, Life is just about to get crazy and I don't think I'm ready for it. Happy birthday. We'll need a few more of those, but we'll just start with this one. No. I can't, can't make any decisions. All right, yeah, let's just stamp the four that we'll need. Actually, I might only need three, but we'll go with four right now. Okay, there we go. So today, what's today? Today's Wednesday. Tomorrow we're leaving to go on a trip. I only got one video out this week. I want to be better than that. But at least I got this one out, so. I will take that as a win. Someday, someday I might be able to be consistent, but I don't think it's going to be any time soon. Alrighty. Do we want a little collaging? Ooh, some fabric maybe? Some white fabric? Or cream, creamy fabric? I don't know these up. I gotta get the stamp off my ruler. Alrighty. You want to pop back in there? Okay. This is the wrong hand. What else has been going on this week? that I am ready to talk about on camera. Um, not much. My son got a cough on Tuesday. So yesterday. Well, it was like Monday into Tuesday. So he was up and down Monday night. Should have ripped this off. And then he got a fever last night, or like in the evening. So, and just, and we're supposed to be going on a trip. But he gets sick for like 24 hours and then he's like, I'm all better. So. Hopefully, he'll be good to go. Otherwise, we'll just be spending a lot of time in a hotel room. Did 
which is a little pointless, but I feel like I have ideas for these cards and then like they just, they have not been working out. Anyway, um, I forgot to mention all my little focal points here I cut out on my Cricut. I will put their names and like item numbers below, but a lot of them don't look like they do here. Like this one, I did a lot of work on him to get him to just be a silhouette. So keep that in mind. Um, okay, he's gonna be popped up. Should I just do that now? Yeah, I'm just gonna do it now. If I can find my foam tape, right? Right, okay. And you know what? I had a piece out that I was using. Um, okay. These, it was a strippy like this, but there were only a few more on it. Did I finish it? They were working out well for me. So, we'll do that. I feel like I should be talking. I don't know what to talk about. I am sorry. Oh, that's kind of cool. can shape it a little bit. <laughs> nice. That other piece is probably with my stamping block. I'm just like, I, I'm, I can't focus because I'm like, where is my stamping block? All right, I don't think he'll need more than that. That is enough for me. My brother's birthday was yesterday. <laughs> so. And then one of my best friend's birthdays is today and I totally forgot to send her a card. Like all weekend, I was like, I need to send her her card. I need to send her her card. And it's just like my handmade cards are up and out of my, um, or my pre-made cards are like up and I, I don't see them all the time. So, so now I got to pull one out and get that sent out to her, especially because I'm going out of town for the next four days. So this color feels about the same color as this happy birthday. So I don't know that that is super helpful. Maybe one of these. Little, a little collage. Yep, we could do that. I'm just gonna rip all the way around. You guys probably can't see any of that. I'm sorry. One day it will seem like I know what I'm doing. Okay. It still needs something else. You know, it needs like sickle star sequence. That's what I think it needs. Which I don't think my brother would be mad about. So... I will just do a couple of sickle dots. And that will be, that should be fine. All right, I'm gonna glue this down in frame, hopefully. Why aren't you coming out? It doesn't feel like it's clogged. Oh, okay, I guess it was. <laughs> this down right there. Grab a happy birthday. Just putting glue in the center. There we go. I'm happy with that. Um, the inside. Let's work on the inside. I 
Jenny, stop buying clear things. <laughs> well, stamping blocks have to be clear, don't they? So. One of my children's toys just went off. Unprovoked. I'm sorry if I'm not in frame. I'm like working in such a small space right now. It's a bit silly. So I made, or I like, yeah, I'm making, in the process of making 30 cards, which I don't know what I was thinking when like I just started cutting up a bunch of paper. Well, that's just lovely. Okay. This says, your birthday, a time to reflect on blessings, like having a terrific sister like me. <laughs> I didn't know what to put in there. I have, oh look, I found my stamping block. in the drawer here. I have this and like, I don't know. I don't like any of these sentiments in there, but that's where I got this from. So, because I can't write my own. Okay, just. Alrighty, this is going to go in here and Maybe we'll make like a little clustery thing. And then I am just going to write on this side in white gel pen. And that should work out just fine. Okay. So I'll put this with this and then maybe a sniff of this. And maybe a little washi since it's here on my desk. Need to clean your desk? Make clusters. <laughs> oh my gosh, come off. And Do we want a little staple? I'm gonna staple it through the whole card. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. And thin paper does not like this glue. Like, I don't know if you can see it, but you can kind of see where like I laid the glue down on thin paper. So glue stick, probably gonna be best for this. Let's grab this here. tall. Almost. Hold on. You gotta move you up some. Glue stick will allow movement, so can peel it up and stick it back down. There we go. My little cluster here. My stapler, my, my stapler 
is usually used as a phone stand. Okay. Shoot, now where are my staples? I guess I use my stapler for work purposes. Done. This one is done, aside from my notes and and maybe getting another 20 or two to put in here. There we go. Oh no, the sickles. Gold sickles. And then we will set it off to dry. There we go. Oh yeah, I mean, a little bit of glitter brings just a card to life. Okay, setting aside to dry. Far, far away. Okay, next. This one is gonna go to my stepbrother. His birthday, I believe, is next month. So, what do I want to do? Maybe just a little bit of stenciling. Let's see. I think I'm gonna do this one, the little, the splattering. Okay. Oh, okay, yes, I know what else I was gonna do on this one. All right, let's do this. Um, I got some new oxide inks, fun, fun, fun. I'm gonna use brown, ground espresso. It's a dark one. darker than, it's darker than walnut stain. I feel like it should look a lot darker than it does though. Anyone else feel that way? We'll see what we see. Just a little something extra for the background. Okay. Wipe this off. It would make a mess right now, but mica spray would be so cool. How do I protect everything while I do it? What's this? I have one down here because I was like experimenting with something not work out. Crafting in chaos. I, I know, I know other makers understand. All right, I just, I'm going to get this on everything I feel like. Okay, just one spray from up above. That didn't work. I guess I haven't used this one yet. <laughs> oh, that was droplets, okay. Just one spray, that's what I said. Okay, now let's clean up. I got it on some of the other cards, but I think that will be okay. A little shine, a little shine, and then we'll just do this. All right, can you see the shine? I can't, I can't tell if you can. Yeah. Ooh, that's so cool. And a lot of like the muddiness in the front is gonna be covered, so you'll just kind of see it around the edges. Looks like he got a little bit too. 
Alrighty. Pop him up. And I can do this now. And then, not sure where the happy birthday is going to go. Maybe it will go on the back. Um, we'll figure that out in a minute. And maybe a couple more right there. And on the edges. Yikes. All these little pieces are sticking to my hand. Uh, they still are. Well, aren't you difficult to work with? Okay. Just want it somewhat centered. All right, stick down. Okay, now I'm going to put little breads in the corners. These are from Paper Studio, which is Hobby Lobby's brand, I believe. Whoa. Buy them on sale. Paper Studio's on sale like every other week. These are super tiny and hard to get in. I don't know, they, it just hurts my hands doing this. Okay, I need two more, not three, just two. I hope I get to do one more with you guys because glitter was requested. <laughs> All right, the back. Where did that piece of paper go that I had in my hand that one time? This is gonna go on the back. Glue stick, it's important. Okay. Now, whoops, some washi on the corners. just to kind of hide the brads. And these are not gonna stick, so I do have to put some glue stick on them. Just get them all cut first, get you in frame. Alrighty. 
Oh, that tore the paper. Maybe it will stick. All right, scissors. Oh gosh. Oh, right here. Right in front of my face. So what projects are coming up? What are you guys working on? We I don't know what I was gonna say there. I always have lots of projects planned, but it's like what can I bring myself to work on? I'm very excited about my next card though for another brother of mine and it's going to be super duper cool. All right, that one is done. Two down. I was like, where did I put my other one? I put it on the counter to dry. Okay. Let's, I want to work on this one. Oh my gosh, the happy birthday. <gasps> I didn't put a happy birthday on it. Okay. Like that. We'll use thicker foam tape. to put a little bit of glue here because this is what's going to hit on this guy just so it stays down a little bit. Hmm. These are popped up higher. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Now it has a happy birthday and I love the mica behind it. It just adds just a little something. I don't, I don't know. I don't, it could be just like my eye that needs it, but I like seeing a little bit of shimmer or sparkle on my cards. I feel like there, it's just a good finishing touch. Okay, that one is now done for sure. This one. I hope this is still good. And why don't they make any other colors? They only make silver and like the rose gold and my rose gold dried out. But I would like a gold gold. Please, because this stuff is so good. All right, spatula and I think it's a lot but I kind of want to use these circle ones. It's like, a, it's a lot of, uh, no. No, it's all dried out. Ah, uh, sad day. I did, I did use a good bit. I did, I tried my best. I bought these over a year ago, so it's not like it happened quickly or anything. Just, you gotta use your products if you have them. Okay, plan B, what is plan B? Rock candy, my alarm went off again. Okay. I need to keep it on because sometimes I don't get up at five to film because I get tired. Alrighty. 
I'm hoping, I'm just gonna put a little ink or oxide or whatever down and then maybe like the glue and the glitter will absorb some of that ink so it's not just like, I think this is translucent, right? I don't know. I don't know, I've never really used it before. I'm just, I'm just winging it. It's hard to remember all the rules sometimes. Okay, sponge and then glue. And then paper, <laughs> the scrap piece of paper. Probably should put that down first. Cause I'm assuming I need to work quickly. That was not enough glue. here. Okay, lift and dump. And pray it sticks. Okay. Ready to see if anything happened. You can't really see the pattern. All right. Gonna let it dry for a moment. I glued this paper to my mat. Okay, I need like a, a brush of some sort. That's working nicely. Let's just do it again on the other side because why not? There is some sparkle there. It's just very, very subtle. Okay. My sponge. Try to do this faster this time. Maybe I need, whoa, not to move. Maybe I need like a thicker layer of glue. I hope you all can see. I'm sorry if you can't. All right, and go. Settle. I don't know how glitter works. I thought you could dye this with alcohol ink. And maybe you can, but I got like gold, a metallic gold, and it did not dye it. It just clumped up. So I either did something wrong or it doesn't work with metallic. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> I wish it was brown or gold. I wanted it to be gold. Are you dry? Don't know. Can I spray it? with brown? 
Oh, <gasps> you know what I should have done? Well, it would have taken a lot, but I could have filled this in with that. That would have been too much. Alrighty, mustache. Oh, gosh. I don't like it. I don't know what to do about it, though. Did you all see that? It turned brown. Okay. It turned brown-ish. It's fully dry yet, so <laughs> probably waiting would be a better option, but just don't have time right now. Don't have time to wait for things to dry. Alrighty. Does that look better? I wanted it brown, now it's brown. Okay. It didn't lose a shimmer, like it's still glittering it's just some messy glittering <laughs> alrighty I will put the happy birthday over that part Have, uh, I have Tyler Hubbard's Dancing in the Country stuck in my head. Okay, let me do this one. Wrong hand, why do I keep doing that? Okay. Then for the inside, I don't know if I'll get to the inside um, in this video, but let me tell you what I'm thinking. I'm gonna send her a couple, okay, so back up. This card I am making for a friend of mine so she can give it to a friend of hers. So I don't know exactly like what she wants in the card. So I'm gonna print out a couple of different sentiments and just do like peel and stick tape on them for her and then she can pick which one she wants and then I will put, I don't know, maybe like a triangle of space for her to write her name or whatever or a little note if she wants. So that is what I'm thinking for the inside. Okay, back to the outside. We gotta hide that glitter mess.
Do we? I don't know. We don't know what to do. My daughter's awake. So the, the rest of the cards that I'm making will be very similar to these, minus the glitter maybe. <laughs> and I will be donating them. But it gives me something fun to work on on like Saturdays when I hang out with a friend of mine and we craft together. Right there. I almost don't want there to be a happy birthday on the front. But I'm, I'm really not sure about this. Maybe I'll like it more when it fully dries. <laughs> it's not fully dry yet. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't want to put a happy birthday on the front. I'll put it somewhere on the inside. I think this one's done. The mustache is crooked because I was looking at this no, this paper is straight. I don't know. It looks crooked, doesn't it? I don't think it's coming up, though. It's stuck like that. Anyway. That is that. Normally, I would kind of clean everything up, but I still have more cards to make. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you feel inspired and motivated. I'm so glad I came back on to kind of finish these up and give you some more ideas. Hopefully, hopefully there's some inspiration here. I love how they turned out. I, I gotta, I gotta see if this grows on me. Um, <laughs> we'll see. It kind of looks like leopard print rather than like whatever this is supposed to be. So but that's okay. Anyway, um, thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it. Let's get together again soon. 